Okay, so we got done the prologue. What do you guys think so far? You know, we just got, we just getting started, but it feels good. I like, I like it a little bit, you know? Thank you for the follow again, Shirai Ryu TV. I'm not sure if I said it. Thank you. Thank you. Established 1953. Ladies, peace and love. Oh, Brenda. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Clinical. They'll they'll get over it. Um, we'll be we'll do that. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh huh. Like they'll get over Emma. Huh? That's not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad. Oh my. <laughs> You know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh, yeah. So cool that you're never going to see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. Okay, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, She's so small. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. He wants me to get the bags, right? Jake, bags, focus. Ooh, my bad. Oh, maybe the bags, uh, well, let's look around for a little bit. It's morning time. That is okay. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. Mm -hmm. Is that locked up now? Who's this? Hey, what do you uh what do you listen to? Good to know. Go by the door. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. With this thing? It's just Dylan, stopping. please. <laughs> Sorry, dog. Cool. Thanks, guys. Clue discover camp. Okay. What's the clue? We can't establish way back. Yep. And it's going to go and it's still growing strong today, nearly 70 years. 70 years of secrets. Y'all know how this be. Walk is a little wonky right now, but they're probably, um, you know, it's new. It's just, it's brand new. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. 
hates horror. Love it. I love horror. Ooh. What's on the ground? Can I pick that up? I guess not. Temperance. Temperance to be balanced to consume it in moderation or indulge in excess temperance. Take take it or leave it. Remember, sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. Okay. Wait, what is the pool? Wait, because I didn't I didn't look at the pool. Whatever comes back up, whatever. I think so. Basically, I'm taking my time, right? Going through like that uh the cabin and stuff. We're unlocking clues and stuff. So that probably will help with like the path. Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. <clears throat> All right, got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme, I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> Who said I was hiding that? I'm not, I'm just saying, you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't, okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have like this superpower over me, but you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. <laughs> wow, the um the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? Seize the moment. Uh, we'll seize the moment. I'm just saying, I don't know why you didn't make you don't like talk online. about it. You should have seized the moment. <sighs> well, can't seize the moment that never happened. Yeah, well, you can't wait for it to come to you. You got to make the moment happen yourself. Oh, right. Chase the moment around all summer like a dog with two dicks until it dumps you on the last day of camp. Okay. I'm not going to miss you, Caitlin. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, it doesn't kill you, it'll make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or I don't know rip out the rotor arm and yes that would make you a total asshole okay and what does a rotor arm look like again it's like a arm that's all rotary 
You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. I guess we'll just have to find out. What the hell? He's he's he that desperate. Okay, we're gonna do the rotor arm because he's the fuel line that make it. That's not that's dangerous. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please, d d d don't. Along. Oh, dick. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, man. I'm so sorry, Jacob. Rough. I hey, thought baby, that was going uh, You should have put it in airplane mode. <laughs> it was a complete L, I know. Can you stop moving? What's up, man? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. Your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> I'll pay to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's bricked. Crap. Oh, thank God. Huh, not a peep. Dude, his phone zero is zero broken signal. now. Everybody's already forgotten I exist. Meh. 50, you know what, 50. whatever, I can go one more day without a phone. Day? The drive's not that far. You know what I mean? Dang, I messed this up. Else. Why? Why would I know that? I don't know. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> Damn, y'all! I broke the phone. But she has a phone, but she has no signal. So I don't think it would matter. Uh, anyway. Now who's this? This is Abigail. 1730, that's, um... Is that 5.30 p.m.? Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Alright, so I gotta wait for it to show oh me boy. which direction and You're then just do it. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. She seems, we gonna break in because she seems like that okay. type. Let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think Emma is proud of you. Oh my god, <laughs> relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. So I think Go the ahead. one in the green is the one in the green is Emma, and this is Abigail. Aw, this was little Izzy's. We'll leave it. Yeah, you're 
can probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. Path updated. Why would this place be in the news? Says, Freak Show goes up in flames. Dozen killed in a fire at traveling show. Scrap from a local newspaper. The North Kill. Gazette. It doesn't look recent. Something about a fire. Was it here at Hatchet's Quarry? Okay. I can't believe I'm actually going to miss all those lumpy, loose springs. Think, is that it? No, let me check this side. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it? Okay. I want to say they're all locked. What does it say? Evidence. Oh. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt. And at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you. I like it so far. I like it. I like it a lot. That list. To back them up. So it's time to dive into the it's mystery. It's like it's like a movie. Basically, I feel. Or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove just found some evidence. <laughs> or not. So let me back up and read this. I'm pretty sure it uh quick time events and we already we already went through that. Ouch. So Jacob hasn't seen this. Oh okay, so it's Jacob plus it was Jacob plus that's what I thought it was. Jacob plus Emma. <sighs> Empty valve. Ugh. Ugh, what is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Plus forever summer. Oh. Now what was this? Okay, it's that. All right. Don't think I can walk into any of those cabins. I'm just looking around for some stuff. I like the graphics. I think it looks really good visually. Ready to roll? Okay. Uncertain, not just yet. Um, I, ch I mean, I didn't check everything, but there was no. We'll go. Let's do it. We'll go. Finally. I'll wait for July to get it. Or is this the this is this is story mode? Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. If they they do have multiplayer, I so think it might be like dramatic. local. Annoying. Like oh, that's available. It's just acting. That's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Tech. Jinkies. Jinkies! <laughs> okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. 
we're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Scenic route. We should really get back. Boo. Yeah. Thumbs down. I don't Everyone's care, Emma. For us. Emma thinks you're a part. I don't give a f fuck you, Emma. That's how people get killed. Shit, Abby! Oh. Too close. Sorry, squirrel dude. My girl here is on her way to ask a guy out for the first time, like, ever. Emma! <laughs> Couldn't let her squirrel out of it. Let's do a I scenic route. Out of the cart. I deserve that. We need to all regroup and stay together. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Oh, idiot. You know, he looks like one of the twins. Is there phone chargers anymore? It, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the. Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because I mean, it's really not that big. She of a can deal. take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Cool. Nudge. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need? Yeah. Can I? Thank you. She threw the shoulder ground. She's like, yes, go ahead, take it. <laughs> Us women, I kid. And that, that made her day. That made her day so amazing just because of that. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Protective. Mind your own business. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them? Oh, wait, uh, I'm gonna close my door, Tell guys. Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. So much, like, background noise. Uh, I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's Ooh, just she getting freaked out? It's a campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. Mm. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers, 
or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Mm. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haga to Corey. One second, guys. Give me that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. You should have seen. We'll be supportive. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. The campfire I mean, stories be scary, though. For life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. <laughs> Do bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Oh. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Right. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Understanding. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. I'm probably going to do it anyway. Uh... No big deal, you can share my earbuds. Okay, so he, he gonna share his earbuds. Alright. <clears throat> so, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Listen to podcast eavesdrop. Mm, let's eavesdrop. What? The stupid kids don't be so much with those. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's going to take me to get rid of these damn kids. Hmm. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like, I mean, I heard. I. Uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry, I pushed you out like that. If you open the door and he's right there, just act like you didn't hear anything. Like that's all you have to do. Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing. What you thought I should do? Right. Y you know, this is whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus. You know. And my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Concern, is everything okay? Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, 
What did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Mm. Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway can't. It's kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. So I don't understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. <laughs> Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. I have one sun go down. We go under understanding. Oh, yeah. Best to get you all out of harm's way. Woods are chock full of live game and local hunters hop to it the second camp's over. It's not okay. safe. Okay. Hmm. Obviously, there's another reason why, but, you know. Good God we don't gotta ask they? questions. I don't like asking questions. You know what I'm saying? Mind my business. <laughs> Mind my business. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. <clears throat> right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Okay. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Oh, dude, this, I don't know. I, this I think guy. something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. Mm -hmm. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. Right, dude, Come on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm over here breaking stuff because you want to spend another night with the uh i thought i told you kids to check everything no we did it, it should be working yeah well coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is does it damn it so jacob gonna get everybody killed basically okay okay well, uh, look it's not that big of a deal okay we'll just spend one more night here no no just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right.
Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. They could so, leave, but you know, Jacob's well, being weird. He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or. Or we could do something else. We follow Chris's instructions. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. I think it's like they're gonna do it anyway, you know? Oh, dude! Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. Oh, Nick kinda, Nick kinda my cute. man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He, he was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um. Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Right. He seemed, he did seem freaked out. He did, yes, he did. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, the group is getting it. bored yeah, of Ryan. Uh, okay, y'all yeah, must want to die then. I mean, dismissive. Just be dismissive because f them. Whatever, man. It's going to be fine, man. Trust me. It's going to be chill. Okay. All right. All Don't right. Matter. All right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um. Okay. First things first. Nick and Abby. You go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just—you saw how happy you got about know, that. Out to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Is that a sniper? Are they still outside at night? Why is he so bloody? I forget his name, but he's a really he's a really good actor. Played in a Pumpkinhead in the Alien franchise. What does it say? Hunting season? 
They hunt people? Like, what's going on? Hmm. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Temperance. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you. If you like. Yeah, show me. I was hoping you'd say that. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Hmm.